Hi guys, if you'd like to find out how I made these beautiful um, polystyrene Easter Bunny and Egg um, table decorations, keep watching. So let's get straight into um, the supplies you'll need to make this cute little rabbit and the eggs. You'll need uh, do the rabbit first. Now I've already coated half the rabbit, but what you'll need is a polystyrene rabbit. I just bought this from Spotlight, but most craft stores should have this sort of thing around Easter time or you know within a month or so before Easter. I just used a skewer, wooden skewer, to hold it while I'm working on it. You will need uh, polystyrene eggs or some plastic eggs. Um, I got a packet of six from browsing for $2.50 and I'm just doing three at the moment. So I've already coated this with some gesso just to give it a good undercoat um, and I've left the ribbon on, these particular ones have ribbons on them so that you can hang a decorated egg up but I'm going to take that off once I've um, almost finished it just so that you can hang it up while it's drying and these are my two eggs that I've already done and I see here already there's a little spot that I've missed. So let me put those aside. And you'll need a brush of some sort um, just to apply the decoupage glue. And this one's glossy. And I think I got this from Cheapest Chips. And it doesn't say how much it is. Also, you will need some napkins uh, in whatever pattern you like. And right away when I saw this, um, I loved the roses. And they were three dollars from the browsing and save. So they will do quite a lot of. Um, different projects or you can use them for what they're supposed to be used for. Okay so I've just placed some alfoil on my craft mat just so I don't get glue everywhere. I have this old, it used to have biscuits in it, uh, I've just kept that just to place all the um, broken torn up pieces of the napkin you'll need different sizes depending on the you know you want to break up small pieces of the napkin for the eggs because it's a smaller surface area so it just looks better it doesn't fold as much and of course for the rabbit you can get use bigger pieces depending on where you're working on I found with this one around the ears I needed small pieces because there's a lot more look and crannies around and for the body, I could get away with them um, using bigger pieces. So, I'll just grab a sheet of this napkin. Unfortunately, with this napkin, because what I like to do is um, they're normally two ply, so there's a backing on them. Um, but if you look carefully, the edges have these little knobs on them, which has sort of sealed the two pieces together. So all I did it's a little bit of waste because of that, but um, I've got so many sheets it doesn't matter. So I just cut around that 
because I don't want the modulary pieces showing in my project. So I'll just cut that away. And then unfold it and I'm able to then hopefully oh here we go I didn't cut quite far enough in I'll just cut this little length off No more, and there isn't. Now I'm going to just carefully try and take away one of the pliers. So you're left with a very thin sheet. Now I think I'll put the bigger pieces on this side. They're a little bit mixed up from when I worked on it earlier. So the idea is to, um, I think it looks better if you don't have many straight edges. So you just tear away and you sort of want to Um, do different shapes as well, like long ones and round ones and triangular ones. See, it doesn't matter if it's this one looks like a boot. <laughs> Just do different shapes. I mean, you could do this while you're while you're sort of working on the piece, but I find it easier just to some pieces beforehand. Again it's got that straight edge there so I'll get rid of that by just tearing it carefully. So that can be one of my bigger pieces. I'll just cut a bit off of this small side. And you just keep doing that until you feel that you've got enough to work with. rid of that straight edge again. Be small. I think I've got enough to work with just to show you. Okay, so let's work on this rabbit. So as you can see, like I said earlier, I've done the underneath and one side, I've let that dry. I'll stuck this in um, a pot like a planter and just let that dry and now I'm ready to work on the other side I'll just get my decoupage glossy by a little bird And it's 
very, very easy. So let's do this tail and behind. So just get some glue and overlap the glue a little bit over the um, the napkin that you've laid down earlier. And just spread it out as much as you want. And grab a piece paper and then just smooth it down with the brush. Now you can do a couple of coats if you like and you don't need to undercoat the rabbit at all with anything but I did I used some just one coat of gesso um, just to give it a better surface to stick to. So you just lightly sort of brush out all the little lumps and bumps but obviously you don't get rid of all of them, you won't get rid of all of them and just be careful too because the napkin is very very thin so it can tear easily but if you do tear it, it doesn't matter, you just go over it again with another piece. That's the great thing with this. Can't really go too wrong. And you can sort of pick and choose the design where you want. Say if I want a rose in a particular spot, I'll just make sure I choose a piece of paper with more rose on it. So I'm going to tear this one up again. bit more green on this top bit. Just dip it in the glue again and you just continue until you've finished that. I just love the look of this. You can do picture frames or anything. It just makes you know, whatever design you like. Um, it's quite effective. There's, I've still got plenty of glue there. Alright, so there's a pointy bit there, so I might just like that. Be very careful not to the paper once it's down. Now go to the small bit because I've left a little gap there. And of course once it's dry you can give it another coat of the gloss um, do another layer if you like as well just personal choice on what you you want what effect you want with this piece I'm lucky because the background the rabbit's white so there's no dark shades coming through the design so I might get away with doing one coat of um, paper. Just 
getting rid of any air underneath as well, just slowly. Just making sure I've got glue wherever it's kind of sitting. don't want it popping open. But I intend to use this as um, this and the the eggs as a table decoration maybe around a, a cake or something. A small piece for that bit there. Now I'll pop this rabbit down because you get the, the hang of how I'm doing that. Like I said when you get into the nooks and crannies you use the smaller pieces. And I'll just show you the egg. So let's cover this little bit here again, so that can dry, just needs a little piece, there's a bit of a rose there so I might just break a bit away. half of this egg. As I said I'm going to leave this here until I've done the half well, it's, so I can hang it up while it's drying and then when I do the last half I'll pull it off. Unless of course you want to leave it for a hanging decoration. So I'm just going to cover the entire half of the egg and again I've um, put a coat of gesso on this as well which I don't think I really needed but it can't hurt. Now I'll just go to the small pieces some with a bit of colour on it. Because you don't want two bigger piece pieces just makes it too hard to cover. See? Doesn't take too long. Let's do a little ring. Glue 
Now I don't mind some folds, like I said, the tiny little folds give it character. If you didn't want any folds at all in it, it might be a, bit, a little bit difficult, but you just use very, very small pieces of cut napkin. just a little bit of a fold that I tore off from when the napkin was folded in the package. So it's as easy as that. So I'll continue to finish this uh, rabbit at least. I can't do any more on the egg. So I need to be able to do the other side once this one's dry, so I'll continue with the rabbit and I'll show you once I've finished. Okay, so I'm back and I've finished covering the entire rabbit. So I'm going to um, finish the egg once that's dry. So I come back in a day or so. And also in that time, maybe in a few hours, I'll give it another coat of the, the gloss, the glue I used, and the eggs. And once that's dry, I'll come back and just show you the finishing touches that I do on the eggs and the rabbit. So here I am back, um, about a week later actually, um, I've done a couple of coats um, of the decoupage gloss. Um, I could probably do more but I didn't have time um, and I'm quite happy with this. You can see a bit of the shine there um, because I kept the stick in just for ease of um, applying the varnish. So I'll pop that out now. And I also finished the three eggs. And I'm quite happy with those. They come out quite nice. So now I just want to add the finishing touches to the rabbit and I think all I'm going to do is pop some eyes on the rabbit. So I have a couple of options, I was just looking. Um, I do have these googly eyes, a bag of them, um, which sort of put it up against the rabbit and it does look quite nice but I want it um, to suit the the roses the pattern um, so some of my options I have some flat backed pearls they're a little bit too small, just giving you a few ideas. Um, just sort of use whatever you have at home. I have these flat backed uh, button, pearly button, it's that I, I think I bought off eBay uh, a bag of them. There you go. And they don't look too bad. There's a little bit of an indent here where the eye should be. On the other side it's not so easy to see so I'm going to have to use a marker 
to try and get them even but you sort of get the idea just have a play around a bit to see um, what you might like to use I also have um, some beads that could look nice if I took the the wire out of them it's not going to stay there so you can't really see what it might look like but that one's not too bad also have um, a few different rhinestones which might look nice too that's a purple one so those are round I've got an option of the green which is more oblong um, and I don't mind the look of that one at all so I might go for this one so I pop that just here um, I was actually looking for another one of these but I couldn't find a second one that would look really nice there's also some jewellery that I took apart that I keep for embellishments I could go with um, with this just a glass stone but that I think pops out too much if you look at the side so I don't still be using those then there's these these ones so a lovely shape I actually like the oblong for the eyes better than the round for some reason um, I also have these hearts so just look around in your craft supply drawer to see what you have. So I'll either go for these green ones or I found these embellishments. And I quite like the crystal look for the eye. Have these daisy looking ones as well which look nice so I think it just look, makes it look more romantic it sort of um, fits with the, the theme I think it's just a matter of what you like so it's between these three I think Should have some blue tacks so that I can actually um, stick them to the head and look from afar. So I think I might actually use these flat back rhinestones, the green. Which are they? So, because it's so small, um, I'm just going to put the E6000 right on there. Normally I'll reinforce it with some hot glue. But I don't think I will. So first of all, I just want to mark out where the eyes will go. I want them fairly even on each side. So this one's pretty well marked. Just put a little black dot right where I want it. And then I'll try 
eye and get it reasonably even on the other side. It's very hard because this side doesn't have that indentation where the eye socket is. So I don't really want them to be lopsided. Think about there. We will do. his eyes on just a little amount doesn't that look cute and the same on the other side not hot glue I'm still able to sort of move them around a little bit basically all there is to it. I could carry on and embellish um, the rabbit more with um, those flat back pearls or whatever I like but I'm just going to keep it like that. I think the design is busy enough um, to show off as it is um, and I think the eyes blend in well with that and you could put some lace around the or ribbon around the eggs but I'm going to leave the eggs as is so I'm just going to move some of this stuff aside and I have a bowl here um, I do want to get a bigger one so I want to make a big scene of different eggs and rabbits and put it on a big platter and um, add some real chocolate eggs to it as well but I have some of this Easter shred here and I'll put that from I think cheap as chips for two dollars um, you could use the more natural twine Whatever is on hand, um, this is the only colour I've got at the moment. Most of my craft supplies are in storage, as some of you may know, while we're building our home. So, I don't need quite so much, but just, you get the idea. Just fluff it up a bit. You can pop your rabbit. From your platter or plate or whatever you have. And pop the eggs around nicely. And 
there you have a beautiful table decoration. Lovely Easter table decoration. You could even use cotton balls. You can get them of course in plain white or coloured, so that would look nice too. Or some straw. Really easy and cheap Easter decoration to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely Easter if you celebrate Easter. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.